Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and today I will show you how to improve the safety of your airplane or a drone that uses a flight controller. If you want to use flight controller, usually we have to assign one of the radio channels as the arming channel that will give the information to the flight controller that it can arm, it can start spinning motors when a switch is switched on or off. I personally like to use switch B because it's close to the throttle. If something happening, just flip your finger like that. It's this arm. This, this using only one switch for arming is however slightly dangerous because it's possible that when you are carrying the radio with the drone or airplane with plugged in battery because you crashed and you're bringing this somewhere and you accidentally flip the switch the motors will start spinning yes INAV for example will not arm if the throttle is low but still when you are carrying this thing it is possible to bring it low switch it accidentally and then hit it with your leg or piece of clothing or equipment or anything and you have a problem this is why this is why there is something there's there is a very sim very simple relatively simple at least with OpenTX and uh, super safe way to prevent accidental arms which can be done with the double switch arming the idea is simple you have to do two things to be able to arm in our case I will show you how to do this how to do it when the, the SB switch is low and SH, yes, this is HA switch, is more at least for a minute flipped. Only then the flight controller will arm. This arm will be happening exactly the same way if we switch it up, then the flight controller disarms. Let's begin with the presentation how it's working like now. Right now I have the switch B assigned to the channel 5, which on my drone is assigned as an arming channel and if I switch the switch B as you can see the arming channel is changing. This is not the behavior we want. We want this channel to change only if the switch B is in the low position and the switch H is at least flipped for a fraction of a minute. How to do it? Let's go to the model and let's go to the section called the logical switches. Logical switches are, well, they are logical switches that are happening when some conditions are met or not. We want arm only, only when two switches are touched by us. This is why the logical switch number one we are interested in is end, because two conditions have to be met together for us to arm. And the argument number one will be switch B in the low position and argument number two will be switch H in the high position. Right now you will be able to see that the condition activated because right now I have switch B down and when I flip the SH the logical switch gets bolt that means it's active of course this is not enough if we would look, like to fly right now we would have a, let's say serious problem because to keep the arming channel cha high you would have to move the switch down and keep this with your finger like that that doesn't make any sense we want to improve that by adding something called sticky sticky is one of the operators uh, over here that also takes two arguments and the argument number one is the activation of the sticky and argument number two is the deactivation of the sticky. So when the activation will be valid for at least a minute, at least a second one, one cycle actually, then the sticky will be evaluated as true for as long as we do not meet the second condition. In our case the first argument for the sticky will be logical condition 0, 1. So let's scroll to the logical condition 0, 1. And the deactivation for the sticky will be us moving the switch SB to the top position. This is the disarm position in our case. This is done. Our logical conditions, logical switches are prepared. Let's go back to the mixer page and uh, on one on the channel let's assign our sticky because not only you can assign switches to the channels that are transmitted to the 
receiver and to the flight controller, you can also assign values to from logical conditions. So let's scroll to the logical condition 0 to, do not touch anything else, and now let's go to the monitor. Now, imagine the channel 6 is our arming channel and the channel 5 is the previous generation simple pass-through from switch B. Now, if I move the switch B, as you can see, the channel 5 is changing, but channel 6 is not changing. For channel 6 to go high and to arm our drone, not only we have to move the switch B to the low position, but also for a short period of time bring SH to the high position. Right now it's armed. How to disarm? Just flip a switch. There will be, yes, maybe slight delay, like a few milliseconds, but comparing to the danger of cutting your fingers, kinda doesn't doesn't really evaluate as the same as the same value. With this, with double switch arming, for example with this or combination of two switches or combination of switch and the three movement, this is ev everything is possible. I have a separate video about what you can do with the trims, so you can you might want to take a look at that. You really can protect yourself from losing some blood. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.